Hello everyone, welcome back to UC Travels. Today we are here at Imagination Terrace and we're here to see the fireworks. Of course, they have something extra for national holiday. So, come on. So, as you can see, there's no one here yet, but we are going to be in line for the puppet show, which will be our first stop right here. We'll get to get pretty good spots. Now we're in line to get our actual ticket or confirmation. They have to verify who you are before they can actually let you in to the terrace. So this is the line and over there's the entrance to the actual terrace. So we're in. It took us a little bit but not too long and we are pretty early, maybe like an hour. But now let's see where we can find the terrace. I think it's over here. And we will be getting there early to try to get a spot because we don't know how it actually is in the front. But this is the spot where you would go through the storybook adventure. What is here closed? Oh, we're in there. Oh, we're over here. System. Oh wow, this is great. We have a great view of the castle. As you can see, this is a big terrace out here, but there are a lot of people that can fit in here. So obviously you don't want to be in the back. And you do see the crowds down there. This is a cool vantage point that we haven't seen before. Of course, we got the castle. It looks a lot smaller on the camera, but it's a pretty good view from here. On the application, when we booked it, it said that you can show up to 45 minutes before. But if you saw that line, they were here way before us. And it's already 7, and we're already inside. So, um, we just have to wait for the show at 8.
in addition to the National Day holiday fireworks, which it's even a better location to watch it from because the castle is not in the way and like the main star was like basically the fireworks. We saw everything from here. It was great. I do love it. I did my favorite part from the regular show from Illuminate was the Marvel sequence where they did like the dance party with um, Root and Rocket. Rocket. <laughs> so they had them do the dance party and then there's like lasers going off so you can see that from here and everything looks really really cool from here. I really do enjoy I really did enjoy it. And I hope we can come back and maybe do regular fireworks again or maybe just another type of special fireworks. I did want to mention that I am happy we are up here, not only because we had a great view, but look how many people there are here. We have an annual pass and actually today and several other days we don't have the ability to come into the park because they're blocked out. We don't have the highest tier of the annual pass, but this is why, look how many people there are. And these are only the people that we're able to see here, but I mean there's a ton of people. So that's why we decided to book this terrace so we could see the national holiday fireworks because of course we've seen the other one before i wish they had like more seating areas and maybe if they did a package where they provided some snacks or drinks would be really good but um it is really nice and we do get a really good view and it's cold up here so if you're coming like it's colder time bring jacket you get a lot of that wind here too okay so they're about to kick us out but before we do because we only have a few minutes i wanted to show you these benches that are up here if you rather not be by the edge you can see you still see the fireworks from here and the castle too actually this is a pretty good spot where you can sit they're pretty efficient in getting all the people out because there is another show right after this one since there are two fireworks showings and so we were in the first one and we were actually planning to eat before but we didn't have any time and good thing we did go in early because as you saw there was a lot of people already there so this is what the line looks like right now it's less busy and so maybe that's the, maybe the second show is the less busy one. We still haven't eaten dinner, so we came to the dining room and we've eaten here, we've eaten here before, so we're going to order something similar, some shrimp wonton soup, and we also ordered some steamed um, dumplings, so we're going to eat that too. So while uh, wait, I just wanted to say that the puppet show was actually really good, I would highly suggest it, and it's running for I think two hours or three hours every day, so they just do one show after the other, so that's pretty good that uh, people can watch it. I ordered some steamed dumplings, they have pork and shrimp, and I think they're also soup dumplings, so watch me burn my tongue over here, <laughs> so try them. And they did put some vinegar sauce on the side. Kind of scared. Yeah, it's hot. But the flavor is so good. I don't want to bite it just yet. I'm going to eat it. some pretty West flavor food. I got most of it out, so now I'm just going to eat the rest of it. More so if you order the same thing, shrimp one time. This is also very light. There's about eight of them. Yeah, I tried these and they're super good. The flavor is really good. These we've had before and of course because it's colder, colder outside, I think this will be great for us. So we had a great meal, as you can see we're done and the restaurant's closing so we made it just in time. That place is really convenient. We do recommend getting the soup, the steamed soup dumplings because they, were they tasted much better. They were more flavorful, especially when they're warm. Versus the soup, it was like a little bit more like vinegary and you didn't, couldn't taste the meat flavor too much. Okay, bonus footage. Andrea wanted me to show you that they are actually constructing out there a new hotel, but that'll be for next time.